Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Really important topic here today, something that the nutritional supplement industry, especially a lot of Amazon-based brands, no offense against you know straight Amazon-based brands, but they don't want you to know this. That is for sure. And that is because there are two ways to make one of the most popular nutritional supplements in the world, which is fish oil, omega-3s. There's two ways to make it. There's a TG or triglyceride bound, and then there's an EE, which is ethyl ester bound fish oil. One directly mimics nature, which means your body is used to seeing it. So what happens? Well, it's far better absorbed. It's been scientifically proven to be absorbed basically 50% greater amounts. You can say, oh, I need 50% less. It works for the brain, the cardiovascular system, blood sugar, and much more, but also really hard to oxidize it. Whereas the other form, cheaper to use, of course, right, doesn't mimic nature, therefore isn't absorbed as well and oxidizes, oxidizes far easier. So I want to share this with you so that no matter what brand you choose, you say, oh, is this a triglyceride bound form? And if it is, chances are you're getting a much better variation of this natural omega-3s. So let's dive right into it. If you've never heard about omega-3s before, I have a bunch of podcasts, I'm not gonna go through it here today, but it is one of those nutritional supplements that pretty much all of the top health-based practitioners recommend. And the reason is, is that the data on it is so sound. So when you look at it, there's about 30,000 clinical studies on omega-3s like 30,000 studies. The Mediterranean diet high in omega-3s is basically the foundation for a lot of good, healthy nutrition plans. Again, you can make variations to it, but that's that. It's been proven over and over to decrease every single top cause of mortality, cardiovascular, blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, and Alzheimer's. So like there, it's, it's like a vitamin D3, omega-3, maybe some magnesium. These are products that we know work and that almost every human, it's going to be the right choice for them. How much? A lot of podcasts on that as well. You can go to stephencabral.com slash podcast. You can just literally type in omega-3. I've got a ton of podcasts on it, but just to cut right to the chase, about two to three grams per day. Two grams for most people is that safe form. And you can very easily test just to say, hey, am I getting the right omega-3s for my diet and supplementation? That's super easy to do. It's called uh, an inflammation test. I can link that up today. So all the show notes, all the research will be at stephencabral.com slash 3211. So 3211 is today's show. But let's dive right into it. So in nature, there are two forms. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's one form in nature, but there's two forms that you can make fish oil from. So the triglyceride bound form is what nature shows in fish. Like that's what's formed in fish. So basically there's EPA and DHA, and they're bound to what's called a glycerol backbone. So that's it. So you've got omega-3 fatty acids, which are EPA and DHA. So you probably heard about those, or you'll see it on the back of a supplement facts panel. And what they, they have to be bound to something, right? Like, so magnesium, what do you bind it to? Glycinate, lysinate, citrate, whatever you want. You can bind it to something, right? So that's the backbone, right? So these EPA and DHA, it's bound to glycerol, a triglyceride structure. And now that is the delivery system into your body just like it is with fish. Okay. Ethyl ester on the other side is bound to what? Well, ethyl esters are bound to an ethanol molecule. Now you may have said to yourself, oh, I've heard of ethanol before. What is that from? Well, one of those main ingredients in alcohol, it's also used as a, it's a it's flammable liquid. It is a, it's added to gasoline. This is not a healthy substance, right? So it could be a part of a fuel source. It could be part of alcohol. It can be part of a solvent, a cleaner. These are not these are not clean ingredients. But why do people use them? Much cheaper, much cheaper to produce, right? So that's why on Amazon, I'm saying you can find a fish oil for like twenty nine dollars. Is it going to be a good quality fish oil? No, not at all, right? It's going to be probably low dose, so not at a clinical dosage, not at two grams. Not more EPA than DHA, which is what you should look for, because EPA easily converts to DHA as your body needs it. And it's most likely ethyl ester. So really important to look at that. All right. So that's just the first. That's just the chemical structure of it. Now let's look at absorption. All right. So there are multiple studies showing that triglyceride-bound omega-3s are absorbed 50 to 70% more efficiently than ethyl esters. All right. So again, your body is used to seeing things in nature is used to saying, oh, 
we're going to get this omega-3s from fish or maybe some algae or chia seeds or whatever it might be, right? But higher concentrations are really only found in fish. But when you're looking at the nutritional supplement, you can say, okay, well, we need to make this look like nature. And obviously fish oil is from fish, right? A good quality one is going to be from a low mercury fish. And then it's going to be tested, of course, to make sure there's no heavy metals in it. That's another thing to look for, but that's not today's show. And what's going to happen though, is that um, if you use the cheap form, you can buy it for less, but you absorb 50 to 70% less and potentially harmful, which is what I want to talk about next, the stability and oxidation. All right. So I, I did a previous show and I'll link that up here today as well that showed that it's really challenging to create a harmful triglyceride bound omega-3 because the studies that purposely used oxidized fish oil still found that it had an anti-inflammatory benefit. So all the talk and the rhetoric about, oh, polyunsaturated fats, they can become oxidized. Yeah, that is true. When heated, when exposed to air, et cetera, the problem is with omega-3s from EPA and DHA, they're still anti-inflammatory because of how powerful the EPA and DHA are as natural antioxidants and anti-inflammatories. Okay, during that, what is called um, arachidonic acid or uh, prostaglandin pathway, that the Cox enzyme pathway, it acts as an anti-inflammatory, which is why it has all of these benefits. Ethyl ester, far less stable and more susceptible to oxidation, which is why, as I've said before, don't buy your nutritional supplements where you buy your toilet paper, right? If you go to Costco, you buy a big thing of toilet paper, no problem. Don't buy your fish oil there. Not an ideal thing. You're going to get the cheapest form most likely available. All right. The next one is this. If you want the long-term benefits, the heart, the brain, the joint health, the anti-inflammatory, all of those, you're going to want to choose the triglyceride form, the TG form. And the reason is, is that you might have to take twice as much of the ethyl ester, but also you're potentially adding more oxidation. You're potentially adding more harmful effects than positive. So over time, you want to tip that balance in your favor and get all the benefits that two grams of omega-3s per day will have. I mean, and it can be life-changing, honestly. Like the research shows that taking, you know, getting your blood uh, levels up of vitamin D to 50 and 70 to 50 to 70, getting your omega threes up to a three to one ratio. And again, that's simple to test a little finger stick right at home. You'll find your levels, how much omega threes you need to add, or maybe you're at the right level right now. Uh, it life changing, literally life changing. So this is something that my whole family gets both my daughters, my wife and I, and of course I give it my parents, everybody. Okay. And the last one is this digestive tolerance. So a lot of people talk about fish burps or all of those things. Sometimes, honestly, it's just weak digestion. It's low stomach acid. So it doesn't always mean that it's a, it's a fish oil thing. But the other thing is that ethyl esters are more difficult for many people to digest. And that goes back to nature. It's not mimicking nature. It is a more synthetic lab-based one that uses ethanol, which as I shared before, is a flammable, it's a flammable liquid. It's odorless, all those things, but added to alcohol. It's used as solvent. It's used as part of gasoline as a fuel. It's used as an antiseptic or disinfectant. And it even has industrial-based applications. So this is not something that we want to be added adding to our body. It's the same basically as like a cyanocobalamin, which has a cyanide molecule for B12. This is why, again, really important. You can go with any brand. You know that I formulate for Equilife, but you can use any brand that you want. Honestly, you just have to know what to look for. So with a B12, you want to see methyl cobalamin or maybe adenosyl cobalamin, but not cyanocobalamin. That's that's a sign of a of, of cheap product. They're just trying to save money. Um, and the other, and then sell it for less and undercut all those things. Totally fine. That's but you don't need to fall for that now. And then in terms of the uh, omega threes, you can kind of go. Oh, I could go all down the line for all the different ones. But with omega threes, now you know you want to look for a triglyceride bound with no matter with whatever company you're looking for. So two big takeaways. One is you can find out if you're at the right omega six to omega three levels because you might be a lot more inflamed than you think you are. And over time, that leads to inflammation, and the body ages faster than you would like it in terms of mood, mind, stamina libido, endurance, all of those things. You, you don't want to lose those as you get older. So um, I will link those up. I'll link up the inflammation test at stephencabral.com slash 3211. But I can't link up the omega-3 that we use. So that one, go to stephencabral.com slash shop. 
That will take you over to Ecolife. You don't need to purchase, purchase it there. You can purchase from whatever your favorite brand is. But I want you to look at the back of the Supplement Facts panel. I want you to look at how much EPA there is to DHA and how many grams there are. Because that's what you want to mimic. So again, always make the best choice for you, but I want it to be the best educated and safe decision for you and your family. So I can't link that up. That's at stephencabal.com slash shop. Just type in daily omega-3 support. You'll find the product. It comes as both a liquid or a soft gel. And then what I want to share with you is that lab. And, I'll, and that's also at stephencabal.com slash shop. That's everything we use in our functional medicine integrative health practice. But I will link that one up today at stephencabal.com slash 3211. Always let us know if there's any questions as well. The whole goal is to bring this community together to rise above, to take us all to that next level. So hopefully this has been helpful. Do feel free to share the show with anyone you believe it could serve. Take care, everybody. Have an amazing rest of the day. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.